All right, guys, before this video starts, just letting you guys know that the wild one is not for sale. Hi, guys. Uh, so today we've got the Traxxas Rustler. And uh, we've had a bit of a accident with one of the shocks. You can see this is a good working shock absorber. And this is the one we've got a problem with. And effectively what's happened here is the, the shock has popped, uh, coming over a jump. And as a result of that, we've lost the seal in the top and all the oil coming out. So today we're going to show you how to fix that problem and get your rustler back on the track. Traxxas, the fastest name in radio control, I think. Yeah. All right, so to start with, we need to take out the two Phillips head screws. So it's going to pop them out here. Let's take the weight off the shock absorber so we don't bounce that. And be careful when you do this to look for all of the, the parts. We don't want to lose anything in the process. And we're going to put that just there. Actually, uh, we've got a cup here. So we're going to put all of our pieces in here so we don't lose anything. And we want to make sure we remember uh, where all the pieces came from. Rightio, so that's the bottom out. And now we're just going to pop the top out. Another Phillips head screw here. And that will release the shock absorber for us. These do take a little bit of time to get out. I know when I first put it back in, it took me a while. Yeah, and there's the other one. You can see that screw is slightly different. It's got a, uh, a washer built into the head. So we're going to remember that that's the top one. Yeah, we're just going to turn off that transformer that's whirring in the background. Okay. Right, so with our shock absorber off, we can take out the bottom section here that just clips off and that'll allow us to take the spring out and work with the, the shock absorber itself. Mm. That ring comes off as well. Right. And it's good to not do both of them at the same time. So if you need to remember how one of them goes, you can use the other one as a guide. All right, so we're just going to pop the top on this one. Oh, that's on nice and tight now. Mm. All right, just um, stop there for a minute. We're good. Right, so we've got some new uh, seals from Traxxas. You can get these at the, your local hobby shop. Uh, come in a pack of four, obviously, because there's four shock absorbers. We're only replacing one today. And uh, while the, um, the, the Traxxas we've only had for three weeks, we've already busted the axle and the, and the shock absorber on it. One of the good things about them is that they're reasonably cheap in terms of spare parts. So we're going to show you now how to put uh, one of these seals in. And you'll notice that you've got the uh, concave and convex on here, a little bit of a dome. And so what we want to do is just pop it in there with the dome facing up. And that's going to create a nice seal inside against the oil that we're going to put in here. And that's the next step. So again, uh, we bought some oil recommended by our hobby uh, shop. Um, not much I can really tell you about this, but oil does come in different viscosity so depending on how well you want your shock absorbers to work in terms of whether you want a spongy ride or a hard ride soft oil will give you a softer ride hard oil will give you a harder ride just in terms of the pressure it puts on the shocks and I think this is probably um, you know, about in the middle all right let's get up putting the oil in so firstly we're just going to take the the rod of the uh, shock all the way to the top and you can see the seals there you always want to make sure that your seal is looking good Again, ours is only three weeks old, so it's, it's looking pretty good. So we're going to bring that to about halfway down. You can see that it's going to start there. And we're going to pour the oil in from there. Now, the reason we do this is that we want to get as much air out of the shock absorber as possible. So it's a bit like a syringe, if you like. We're going to pull this down as we, uh, as we put some oil in it. All right, so let's just check that there's no um, safety seal on the oil, which there is. So I'm just going to pop that safety seal out, like so. We'll put that back in afterwards, and um, it'll just uh, keep the oil from going everywhere. 
Okay, so our shock's about halfway down. Just going to open the bottle and pour some of that um, in there and fill it up. So you can see I've got it almost to the top there and then I'm just going to draw that down and you'll see the oil. I'm just going to tap it a bit make sure we get all that air out and then we'll fill that again. Almost all the way to the top and then I'm going to draw the shot completely to the bottom. Another bit of a tap to just get all that air out. You can see if one big air bubble comes up when you do that. And now we're just going to fill the shot completely. A bit hard to tell where the, uh, the oil ends, but I think we're full there. Um, now you can let this sit for maybe 15 minutes or more if you want to try and get more of the oil out. Um, I tend to just give it a little bit of a tap and make sure that's all the way down, which it is. And then we're just going to put our seal in. So remember, we've just put our seal in with the little dome up. And that's just simply going to go over the top. Now, these have very fine threads. So you want to just sort of go backwards on the thread a little until you get it to click. If you get it wrong, you're going to thread it and then you're going to be up for a new shock absorber completely. So it's a little bit fiddly. Uh, take your time with it. It's worth getting it right. Okay, there we go. And we're all nicely tight. You'll know you're nice and tight because you'll see that uh, the seal sits quite well there and there's no thread showing. All right, now we're ready to pretty much put our shock back together. You can feel that there's some good oil pressure in there now, where before that was uh, that was quite jumpy. So firstly, we're just going to bring the the top of the uh, the spring colander back in, and then put our spring in, and again just bring our clip up there. That just locks over the bottom, and the shock absorbers back together and you can see that there's actually now good suspension in that where before we were just really bouncing so that oil um, that oil's feeling really good in there mm. and just a simply simple case of getting your screws um, that we used before remember the top one had a little ring around it so we're going to pop that one uh, back in first and just pop your shock in there really doesn't matter which way it goes but you will note there's two holes here now this is part of the telemetry of the of the vehicles and depending on which one you put it in you'll get a different response in terms of the suspension of the car it's another good reason not to take both shock absorbers off at the same time so you can see where you need to place that back so what i'm going to do is just pop that in there for now i'm going to get that little um silver ring in there and I'm going to do the top up first and then I'm going to deal with the adjustment at the bottom. Just a bit of hand tightening. Make Again, make sure your thread's in because these are very fine threads. And uh, if you take these apart too many times, you're likely to damage the threads in the plastic. You just want to tighten it up until you feel... Um, that it's at its resistance point don't over tighten it or again you'll damage that thread all right so that's back in and I can see from the other we'll just pop this one back in while we're while we're here um, I just took that off earlier to make sure we had the o-ring or the little seal in the lid going the right way so let's just simply tighten that one as well Okay, then I'm going to look at uh, which hole I've got these in. You can see I've got it on the outer. So I'm going to bring that across until we're at the outer point and do that one up as well. These do take a little while. And actually, I've tried to fix one before, but I think that's what resulted in the oil coming out and stuff. But those actually do take a while to get in, and I know from previous experience that they do take a long time. A few hours later. 
Right, so it's a little bit fiddly in there. It's got a sleeve just inside. You can see the metal sleeve. It's actually the knuckle that the uh, suspension rotates on. So you just got to uh, muck around with that a little bit. Just feel it with your fingers. Um, and once you've got it in the right spot, then you can just simply tighten that up with a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. And just do that till you feel there's um, resistance. And uh, so that's the shock we had. And now you can see the other ones nicely um, suspended as well. All right, and that's giving us good suspension there. So the other thing is when, uh, when, when the tires are fully extended like this, the springs are actually rather loose. And uh, Traxxas give you a number of adjusters that you can pop in here. Uh, so we're gonna show you how to, to do that now as well. Uh, you will have received in your pack a couple of uh, a couple of packs of of these adjusters. Also, if you guys are wondering what the pack is, it is the Traxxas Rustler Ready to Race, and it comes with all of these parts that you see in the video, except for those spare seals and other things that we will be showing in the video. Also, actually, we are trying to find a second one so then my dad can also get on the road with me as well. We'll gain, grab some footage together because we both have our own YouTube channels. We've actually found okay, one. So, <laughs> okay, so I've taken this one out of the pack. Uh, I think they're pretty much the same. They look like they're, yeah, they're the duplicates. Same. <laughs> and you'll see here that they come in different thicknesses. So we've got uh, three three thicknesses here, um, quite thin. Actually, they're four thicknesses, quite thin, a little bit thicker, rather thick and fully thick. Um, and we're going to take um, these ones, the, the almost thick here, and just uh, like most plastic models, just twist them off. And they just sit in here. You just pull that down a fraction and clip that straight in over there and you'll see now that spring is quite a lot tighter than than this spring here and that'll again give you extra suspension into your uh, into your driving so we're just going to pop the other one off and if you feel that's not enough then you can go um, thicker typically Traxxas have the thinner ones on the front and the thicker ones on the back at the moment the back springs actually um, quite solid so we're just going to pop them on the front and shocks for now. Uh, I'm just going to turn those little things in there. All right, you can see that that's tightened those springs right up from, from jumping out like they were before and just giving us a little bit more um, suspension in that, in that front end, particularly when we're coming down off jumps. Um, okay, so one other trick here uh, is that if the springs do pop, and these come up, you can lose these little uh, little um, seats for the springs. So what you can do is, you see there's a number of already um, holes in there, they're not all the way through. And of course you'll void your warranty if you do do this, um, but I don't think the warranty is worth it on these cars anyway, because it generally only um, really relies on the elect electricals. If you break anything else, it's considered wear and tear. Uh, is get a really fine cable tie, drill a hole in there, put your cable tie in there and through your spring. And that way when you're racing, if you do happen to uh, really extend the ex suspension going over a jump and one of these pops, you won't lose it. The cable tie will keep it attached here and then you can just very quickly make that change. So that's our little tip uh, today at the end of fixing uh, the front suspension of a Traxxas Rustler. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, so we're finished. Yes, I'm doing a face reveal a little bit early. I know I wanted to hit 100 subscribers, but hey, it's all right. This is me. I'm with the Studio Films. I'm the one behind all the plush videos that you guys all love and some hate, and that's okay. But today, so we finally finished um, fixing the rustler. Um, we've had to buy some new pins because I put it in wrong the first time. And we've also put um, Traxxas up here. Also, if you want to get these golden pins, you can go buy them at Arrow Max. I don't know if it's .com.au or .com. You have to find that out for yourselves.
And let's see if she runs. <laughs> Well, it looks like she's pretty breezy. Any guys, I'm with the Studio Films, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to go and subscribe to my Dutch channel, Matt Orliston, who's an awesome YouTuber. He's done some hiking videos. Make sure you go like and comment and subscribe. Anyways, guys, we'll end it up with a gutter. Wait for it. Get it in that position.